One of the great things about local honey is that it takes on unique flavor based on what the bees pollinate. In the case of our next farm, it happens to be lavender. Al Spoler's satisfying his sweet tooth on this week's The Local Buy. Al? We're really excited to have beehives on the farm. We really want to be able to be kind of a haven for bees. Sophia Watkins and Kevin Salmarone have created just that. At the base of Sugarloaf Mountain in Montgomery County, on 286 acres, Soleado Lavender Farm is a haven not only for the bees. We have a seven-month-old son, and we really do all of this for him. And the fact that he's fourth generation really makes this all the more special for us. Looks like baby Valentino is already drawn to the lavender. This is absolutely a fantastic way to grow up. That is why we do what we do, not just for our own kids, but because these special parts of Maryland have to be protected and have to be kept alive for everybody's kids. And this farm has been in my family since the early 60s. Now this picturesque farm is home to three acres of blooming lavender. So we were really looking for something that was perennial. We were looking for something that the deer wouldn't eat. And then we also were looking for something that you really could make nice products out of. But first, it needs to be harvested. You won't see harvesting equipment lumbering across the field because it's all done by hand. This is as mechanical as it gets. Once Sophia cuts the lavender, it's time to hang it up to dry. And then this will either become dry buds that go into our sachets or an ingredient in soap, or it'll stay just the way it is, but dried in bunches. And people use it for wedding bouquets, for their bridesmaids, or for decoration. And then there are also some culinary uses for it. Speaking of culinary uses, we love that we can work with a beekeeper to get lavender honey. There are nine hives on the farm with over 40,000 bees in each hive, all producing lavender honey. This is a, a brand new frame. This is what we give them. It's a pattern of the honeycomb, and that's what we put into the hives, and they fill that up. Fred Smith of F&D Apiaries is here from Hagerstown to check up on the progress of the hives. Look at that, that's nice. That's all brand new lavender honey. These busy bees transfer pollen from one flower to another, fertilizing the plant so it can grow. Of course, the lavender honey is a sweet bonus. Wow. It's full honey. Fred will take this frame back to process and bottle up the lavender honey. But that's not the only lavender-inspired product sold on the farm. What do we have? Essential oil, soaps, lotions, candles, and sachets. And we've put together uh, lavender cookies and lavender lemonade for you. Oh, that's so kind of you. Can I try one? Please. And what makes these cookies special? So it's really just the buds from the fresh flowers. Well, these are really, really great. I mean, I can taste the lavender in it. It's subtle, but it's really refreshing. Now, this is the lavender honey that goes into the lemonade. You don't infuse lavender into it. I guess the bees are doing the work? The bees are doing the work. So they're just making a really lovely, light, floral flavored honey. Mm -hmm. And then it just has these stalks dipped directly into it to steep for about three hours. I really would love to have the recipe for the cookies so we could share it with the people at Absolutely. home. Absolutely. Well, we're going to get that recipe and put it on the website, mpt.org slash farm, so you can try it. For the local buy, I'm Al Spoler. Joanne? Thanks, Al. And for you at home, visit us at www.mpt.org slash farm for all our local buy recipes and lots of other fun extras. Like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter for lots of behind-the-scenes photos.